Hello, I am Sean Sands. Kerbal Space Program. Resume saved. Load file. Just saying actions now, apparently. Uh, when last we left our intrepid explorers, they had uh, landed their... Well, they were flying the Aureo plane. Uh, and we made it. We landed it. We did it. I did it. No, don't, don't start up. Uh, so we're going to do some science... Uh, up here on the North Pole, and then we're going to recover our vessel, and then we're going to talk about what we're going to do today. But like I promised, um, I did fly the rest of the way. I did land successfully. It was a much less, but still slightly bouncy landing, um, and good. So we'll, we'll pick up some science. We'll observe the mystery goo on the North Pole. Keep that. Oh, do we need to... Get the atmospheric data, log seismic data, excellent. Log gravity data, excellent. Get the temperature up here. I bet it's cold. If it doesn't say something about being cold, I'm going to be disappointing. Nominal. Oh. Oh. Ow. That was my curl impression. It's... I don't know. I'm kind of punchy tonight. I'm not sure what's up. Uh, you need to come back here and... Good job. Well, don't fall over backwards. Uh, get this stuff out of here. Download data. Run atmosphere analysis. Good. And then I guess go back. Grab. Board. And that's it. We're all planed. We've, we've, we've planed. We've done the planes. So, all good. Uh, got a little bit of science for that, I assume, I think. Yeah, 72 science. Um, we can get one more of our things, but we're not going to get a thing because we're not building any more planes. And that's pretty much what I have left over here. Uh, oh, or we could get one of these. Um, was there one I'm halfway thinking about? Yeah, no. No, it's really not, is there? I want to get to a thousand science. I want to get one of these big ones. Which brings us to our mission today, which I think... Okay, so we've been talking a little bit about how we're going to... Uh, how we're going to wrap things up. We also have this EVE... Did we have an EVE mission we're supposed to do? Like send a satellite in a polar orbit of EVE. That's going to take a lot of Delta V. Um... We could do that. Unmanned probed. I have a materials bay. I have a materials bay. Mm. You know, I could. I kind of want to bring my guys home from Duna. There's another thing I want to do. I decided what our kind of last big ish mission is going to be. And we're going to go from Kerbin to Jewel. Uh, and the reason we're going to do that is I want to do a little bit of moon hopping. We're going to send a giant vessel over there, uh, a massive crew to go to Jewel, um, and then we're going to bring them back. Um, hmm. And that's actually coming up sooner than almost anything else. So maybe what we would do is send our crew to Jewel, close out the Duna mission, Go to Jewel, do that mission, bring them home. And that would be good. In which case, what we need to do is we need to build a gigantic rocket to go to Jewel. I don't know a lot about Jewel. My impression is that um, transfer from Kerbin to Jewel is that it's about as much, costs about the same as uh, getting to Eve. Um, so yeah, it costs about, eh, about 1900 Delta V is what I'm seeing. Um, let's see, a, uh, Delta V map for KSP. Here we go. Um, so Jewel, it looks like you, so getting to Eve costs about, yeah, it costs about the same. Uh, it costs a lot 
to get into a stable orbit around Jewel, but you can go from elliptical orbit to, and I'm thinking probably, uh, you know, probably Bop or Pole, maybe Val. Um, lathe is interesting, right? Because Lathe's the ones that has like liquid surface, right? Okay, so we want to get home. We want to get there. So we need 4,000, 5,000, let's call it 6,000, 7 or 8. Like we want like 10,000 Delta V, don't we? To get there, do a couple of little, little bump arounds and get back. Which is good because we actually already have a vehicle that kind of does that. Um, which is Duna the Explorer. What was that? Like 9,800 Delta V. Um, you know, not not a perfect ship by any means. And this, I think we're going to have to switch out this engine because I cannot stand having it look like that again. Uh, do we want to put another Rhino on there? I don't think so. Uh, we could try with the thing again, right? We could try an engine plate again. Uh, I should I should learn how to do engine plates before I go messing around with them, shouldn't I? Um, Cuz we could put a couple of a couple of like mastodons on here. Got to turn that off. Um Hmm. Did that work? If I did that, is that going to cause a problem? Because then that looks a lot more normal. Get rid of these struts. All no, all the struts. Well, that's a lot less delta V all of a sudden. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Because you don't want to do that. You want to do that, right? Wait, what? Wait, what? So I don't put a, I know. I need to put a, a coupler on there. Now it's down to 5,000. I've only made things worse. Uh, okay, that's 9,100. So we have less delta V than we had before because we're using a less efficient engine, right? I mean, that's got to be it. Because that's that's the thing about the Wolfhound, right? It's, it's is it the Wolfhound? No, it's, um, I guess it is the Wolfhound. Yeah, 412. Versus those, which are 290. So I picked literally some of the worst engines I could have put in a upper stage. We could put a couple of these on, I guess. No, there's no way that we can do that. That's not going to work. But we could still just do this, couldn't we? Whoa, now we're up to 11,000 Delta V. Interesting. That's a lot of Delta V. That is a crazy amount of Delta V. Uh, this needs to go up a bit. You know what we are going to put on this thing? 
tell you what we're going to put on this thing for sure is we're going to put a communicatron on this thing. We are not going to do a dumb thing again. Uh, though, honestly, I don't know that we can communicate from Jewel, which may actually be the next thing we do. Well, that's not a very good communicatron. Um, I may need to look into setting up some what do you call those things? Uh, you call them, I don't know, like these, these, like a relay pro or, or satellite or something like that. Uh, so maybe we do that. I don't know. I'm kind of torn. Like, I'm not sure. Do I want to do anything else with this ship? Uh... Like I could toss a couple extra boosters on it just for fun. Honestly, that's going to potentially clip with our wings, which I'm not sure we need anyway. And, and, and honestly, we don't need to do that. This is plenty of Delta V to go basically anywhere and get home, presumably. I still like this docking system that we've put together here. So let's save that. Um, what if we set up a relay network? Like just put a, how would you even set that up? Because the antenna rating is like that. Fifteen G. What do we want to do? Could just be reckless and just go to Jewel and see how it goes. Um, how far out is Jewel in relation to like us? So. Duna, where's Duna, Drez, Jewel, yikes. There's no way we'd have communication all the way out there. And then crazy old Elu. Is it on a different... Um... You know what I think I'm going to do right now? I, I think we're going to, we are still going to go to Jewel. I want to do some, I want to learn about it a little bit. Um, I want to, I want to make sure we figure out how to do that correctly. So, yeah, I mean, obviously I'm kind of playing on the fly here. Do that transfer. I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring our guys home. We're going to bring Duna home. They're like, there's no rush. We don't have to do it specifically in that order. Uh, so let's bring our Duna crew home. And yeah, I like that idea. So to get there, we're going to have to dash ahead quite a bit. So you might might want to look, look away from the flashy. Um, might have done this ahead of time, but I didn't. So that's where we find ourselves. Our Duna crew, that will actually complete a mission too, won't it? Uh, we are, <laughs> I have this old thing from taking a, taking a thing from Minmus, uh, and we could then, well, we will recover scientific data from the surface of Duna. We couldn't transmit though, cause you know, we've covered that in extensively. Um, stop, 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 just stop. Can we go to space and do it? So three hours and a day. We need to get to about year five. All right, this is better. Um, oh, see, yeah, even that far, we start to lose uh, our transmission to Eve, I guess. Do we still have communication with our Duna crew? I presume so. So Duna, we're going to be burning backwards. Um, So 
So we're missing, essentially, I guess you're supposed to be just sort of lined right up with Jewel to get the best transfer. That's interesting, too. And let's look at Jewel for a second. I haven't actually looked at the system before. So you've got, I mean, I'd have to look at them. That's Pole or Bop. That's Pole. That's Bop. Presumably one of these is, um, that's Lathe. That is it, Bal. And that is Tilo. Tilo. Uh, cool. We can do some moon hopping. I think that will be fun. And we can, okay, we only have 113 more flashies to go. And we'll go get our crew from Duna. Bring them home. The A team. And they'll get, they'll be the ones to go to Jewel too, I think. I'd like to send them with as much fuel as possible and a good connection home so that we can do maybe two or three uh, moons. I don't know how practical that is or what sort of difficulties there might be associated with that, but that'll be part of the fun. That'll be part of the reason to do it. Uh, so we can go ahead in 10 seconds and skip back over to our guys. Good job. Duna the Explorer orbiting Duna been on the mission now for two years we have no transmission um world first milestone oh, we did that a while back didn't we uh let's see so what we need to do is we're going to be burning retrograde right which means we're going to be burning back this way as I recall, at least from a starting point, we wanted to do the maneuver somewhere around here. Now, as I understand it, it should only take mm, like six or seven hundred Delta V to get out of the system and get on the way to us. So let's go about 600 or so, maybe 630. Sure, sure, 630, because that's the number I landed on roughly. Um, let's sort of move it around the orbit a little bit and see if we get anything promising. No, no, no. Feel like it would be over there if we were gonna get it. All right, we gotta look at this more. Um, so it says we need to be heading, and we are heading around this way, right? Wait, which way are we heading around the planet? We're going this way. Ooh. No wonder. So it probably is gonna have to be somewhere more like over here, but that's bad, right? I think we're orbiting the planet the wrong way. I don't know how problematic that is. Because we're going to have to come around this way. So we may have to spend more than we had originally planned just to kind of make up for the fact that... Are we going this way? I don't know. I can never tell. How far do we have to go to get any kind of encounter? Well, we're not really on the same. Hmm. So the idea is that Kerbin's coming this way, right? Yeah, so we are orbiting the right way. Come on, give me some sort of intercept. Give me something to work with here. How bad is our... And so we're crossing it. I just wish... I wish it would always... I wish it would... 
always give you some sort of sense of closest. Like, there's just no way. I mean, I'm crossing... Uh, oh, you know why? Set his target. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's 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 go back. Oh, this... Now I'm, now I'm feeling embarrassed. Do I see the little button? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Now we got something we can start working with. All right, let's see if we can move it around the orbit a little bit and get a better deal out of it. That's not better. That's much better. Wow. Hmm. I lost it. Let's bring it back. Nope. Come on. Come on. This is not bad at all. Hundred and thirty. Hundred twenty. Eh, you went away. Come back. Yeah, no, that's not the way to do it. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. Shoop, 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 shoop. So at the closest current approach, I am, well, it's hard to see. That's where it is on, so maybe radial in? Is that radial in a bit? A little acceleration. There we go. We have a periapse of 75 million, but it that's doable. Oops. Seven hundred delta V is nothing. Okay, that's good. Get me within three million. I'll figure it out from there. All right. We have an encounter. Um, we are 17 minutes out from our burn home. We'll finish off of this stage. See, we have 340. We'll finish off the next two stages, and it'll just be our remaining ship, which we have fully refueled. And we're swinging it around. Very good. And we're going to cheat and use time acceleration to stop us, I think. Do, do, do. Four, three, two. I think we'll start burning around. It's only 700. To, hey, 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 where are you going, machine? Vehicle? Nobody asked you to turn that way. 
Uh, we'll start burning around 30 seconds. Stop moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go home. Oh, no. <laughs> shut down engine, shut down engine, and go. That's terrible. <laughs> that was so sad. <laughs> All right. And detach. Did that detach? Which stage is that? Oh, we're... Okay. There's a lot going on over there that I am not happy with. Okay, what is that? What is that? What is that? Okay, let's detach there. Is that engine going? Yeah, okay. I realize we're missing our burn here, but I wanna make sure we don't do something stupid. There we go, okay. Whew. Staging was kinda of screwed up there, obviously. Good. Sending our crew home. Lots of Delta V in the tank. So things I need to do before. So let's assume we're gonna. We are still gonna go to Jewel as our next big milestone. So I need to figure out, I, I mean, there's gonna be some stages of that. I really need to figure out communication systems. How does communication systems work? Um, RCS, SAS off. Uh, and then maybe we'll need to set something up, you know, associated with that. Um, not auto warp so far, why not? We will warp here and then figure out how to get to curb in there. Our closest approach is 89 million miles. We'll figure it out. So yeah, um, I'll need to figure out what are my needs as far as a communication system. I mean, I don't absolutely have to do that, obviously, because I could just send the guys and you know do like I've done right here, which is um, not have a communication system set up, but I'd like to figure it out. Uh, I think that's I think that's a milestone that we should have done by now, uh, probably much much earlier, and just haven't done. Um, so, what'll probably happen is uh, probably go a couple of days here while I, I I don't know I might set that up on on camera, um, I might not I don't know uh, I don't know if that would be interesting to watch. If you want to watch it, you can kind of let me know I suppose. Uh, otherwise, I can just kind of set that up separately, and we can come back when it's time to actually go to Duna. Uh, let's zoom in here. No, not you. I want to zoom in on here because I want to get my... All right, we are coming in underneath, well underneath. Uh, where's my... Yeah, there's my node. Okay, so we need to bring this up. Periaps is 15 million, 10 million, 8 million. I think we're going to need to shoot. Uh, I don't want to. I want to be able to be, get into a nice capture. But I also don't want to blow up my my ship in reentry. Is 60,000 too much? No. Let's go about, let's shoot for maybe 50,000. 50, and I keep clicking it just too much here. Slowly, slowly. 52,000, I like that. Uh, and we'll almost certainly have to adjust it a little bit here uh, in the not too distant future because that's going to be hard to dial in perfectly the first time. 
turn RCS off. I think the RCS are competing with one another. We can go ahead and do that burn and now. We can kill that and just track it as it comes in here. There we go. All right, very nice. And it's 117 days to warp to Kerbin. Round and round it goes. Dial it in, hey, look at this. All these unknown, oh no, look out. So many unknown objects. Capturing an asteroid just has never really appealed to me that much. All right. We are now uh, going to want to burn retrograde to the surface as we plummet. Now, one thing we'll have to be careful about is when we detach this stage, how much in fuel? Yeah, we burned six fuel. Um We're going to top off these because these are the ones that are more important to me. So once we hit, yeah, I think it'll be fine. So what I'm worrying a little bit about, also my staging is terrible over here. What are we even doing? Um, oh, yeah, 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 you know what? We're going to have to worry about that later. Okay, uh, what I'm worrying about is at some point we're going to have to detach from this vessel and then flip around. And that's going to change everything, including... We don't want to do that when we're burning hard through the atmosphere because uh, that would be bad to try and do that flip if we're getting a lot of heat effects. And we can actually... No, don't need to do that. We can warp down. toward the surface. And after our long trip to Duna, we are approaching home. One hour out, coming in on the dark side. Ooh, that is dark. Won't be once we start brightening up the sky. That is really dark. I think this, this feels for some reason like the darkest I've ever had this screen. Sure would be nice if we'd pack some lights. We didn't, right? <laughs> we turned on the lights inside the cabin. That's adorable. I didn't even know they could do that. Um, oh, it's something very endearing to me about that. All right. Here we come. Periapsis of 54,000 feet. And as soon as we hit the atmosphere, I think we're going to start burning. Oh, yeah. There's really no reason not to. Is there? No, I don't think there's. I think we want to go ahead and burn right away. All right. God, this is very dark. Oh, but that's a pretty shot. I like that a lot. Uh, we have an Apple Apps. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, good. So we will burn again when we get closer to the periaps then. Yeah, or if it's relatively normal, actually. I just, I'm I, the only reason I don't want to burn is I don't want to dip too much more into the atmosphere going at this speed, which is really quite fast. Uh, but I think we're probably safe to go ahead and burn again. Slow that down. I do want to get back out of the atmosphere. So we can detach and come back around. So I'm not going to go crazy here. Look how much fuel we still have in these tanks, though. Like, really, we should have no trouble getting to jewel with this vehicle and back again. We cleared the periaps. I'm not going to let our Apple apps get below about 150,000 just to be safe. 
but we have a really reasonable orbit here. Seven hundred thousand. We're still at fifty-five thousand meters. Six hundred thousand. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Bring it down to about 150 and cut engines. All right, very good. I think we're going to go ahead and detach now. I can't see a reason not to because I want to have a little time to. Uh, um, no, I want to control this one, I think. We'll We will back away from that. Turn off RCS, turn off SAS. Actually, uh, spin retrograde. Oh, it's retrograde right here. Careful, guys. Care wait. <laughs> um seems right if we wanted to burn retrograde this is how we would do it uh, try not to hit this thing if you don't mind there we go let's clear our debris turn RCS back off uh, we need to do this and then this goes here which of these are the those are the drogue shoots, right? Yeah, those are the drogue shoots. So we're gonna want the drogue shoots here. Good. And then we can swing back around, back down to our periaps. Honestly, I kinda, I kinda wanna come in on the day side. Is that crazy? Like just, I mean, we have so much fuel. Wait, where's where's the space center? Um, it's right here. It's up by our apoaps. Uh, that's the boomerang. It's over here. So technically, we could equalize our orbit. How much would that cost to get it just a little more normal? Uh, is it worth it? Sure, why not? A little bit, just for fun. Um, put it on anti-normal, and we'll go ahead and burn. Burn. Activate engines. Oh, activate both engines, please. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. Just forget it. You know what? Let's just get these guys home. It's time to be done with this nonsense. Oh, man. Bring them home. On the day side. Let's land in that nice big ocean over here. Under 2,000 meters per second orbit. It's all good gonna land on the opposite side of the planet and I just I don't I'm fine with that you know I really am fine 13 minutes out 10 minutes out from impact no only three minutes out I really am kind of punchy tonight you guys I'm sorry Let's bring her down a bit. We'll do a burn closer to the closer to the surface. Getting some heating effects. A blader is up and running. And I think we will. Let's see if we can recover the engines at all. 
If not, that's fine. All right. Slowing down to roughly 2,000 meters per second. Lots of delta V in the tank. Interesting sort of conical effect going on here. Feel like a... It's kind of fun. Dumb, but fun. I'm going to drop the chutes down here and these chutes here. Let's do a quick save. Coming under 1,500 meters per second at 25 kilometers above sea level. Jeb, even Bill's not worried about it. Bill's like, yeah, this is cool. A couple of years in space and it's just no big deal. Hmm. Pretty. Eight hundred meters per second. Seven. Six hundred. Still thirteen kilometers above uh, the planet surface. Everything's super chill. Everybody's having a good time. Deploying drogue shoots. Uh, apparently not. Thank you. There we go. Those are the drogue shoots. Not sure what that was all about, but okay. Uh, let's deploy those landing legs just for fun. They can get that first big impact of water. I wonder if we'll have to, I imagine we're going to have to burn. We can turn SAS and RCS off. Imagine we're gonna have to burn to kind of slow down a bit. Um, 5,000 meters. These deploy around 2,000, as I remember correctly. Deploying main chutes. Main chutes fully deployed. And we are still going, that's not so bad. 10 meters per second? Heck yeah. That'll be nothing. We'll Goose the engines a little bit. Put this baby down. Bring the boys back home. All right. Do a quick save just to be safe. Burn the engines a little bit. 150 meters. 100 meters. Engines at full. Barely making an impact. Everything seems to have survived. And we did it. All right. We've recovered Valentina from Eve. We've recovered Jeb and Bill and Bob. Why did I almost forget Bob? Uh, from Duna. We've made a ton of money. We actually recovered a ton in parts and we completed a couple of missions and everybody leveled up a bit. And we are going to do some science. We're gonna grab the narrow band scanner um, as well as the large holding tank. Okay. Not to be used as a bouncy castle. Surveying potential lander site, the scanner provides detailed information about the planet or moon that orbits, though this data is limited to the spot directly below the scanner. I don't know if that has any practical purpose at all, but we're getting it because we want to get our first thousand point. Um, there should be a thousand point. There's a, like, it feels like there's a gap right here. There should be a thousand point uh, rocketry solution. There just should. Uh, ion propulsion, we could get, I guess. Advanced unmanned tech, automation. Any of these look really interesting. I guess we could upgrade our probes. Communicatron. Yeah, this is our next thing anyway, so we need to figure out how communicatrons work. Um, we can go ahead and grab large probes, too, and get our fancy remote guidance unit. 
I don't know that we'll ever use it, but it'll be there for things, for science. Um, we'll do that, and that's it. Cool. All right. Yeah, we're coming up on it. I think the plan is I may I may take a couple of days to the next video because uh, I want to figure out how communication systems work. I want to figure out how to put some communications satellites up that are going to help us communicate from and to um, Jewel. Um, yeah, and then I think we'll start planning our official mission to Jewel as a sort of closing ceremony for all this. There was an interesting idea also to uh, maybe just how deep we could, how far out we could toss a probe into deep space, which might be fun as just sort of a final episode. Just build a ridiculously over-engineered vehicle. Um, just keep stacking Delta V on it. Uh, and just see see how far we can toss one out into space. And maybe we'll do that. Um, anyway, until next time, as always, my name is Sean Sands from Gamers with Jobs. Thank you for being patient with me this time. Like I said, a little punchy. Not I came into it not totally knowing what we were going to do. And then I'm, I'm glad we got the boys back from Duna. I think that was the thing to do for now. Um, so yeah, until next time, we will see you again real soon.